<laughs> <laughs> when scunny birds drink wine. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a lovely summer's eve, and no, we don't get many of it. So I'm in my garden, I'm gonna have a glass of red, and because it's such nice weather, I've chosen a lovely light Pinot Noir from Aldi. It's their exquisite collection. As you can see, Pinot Noir from New Zealand. There we go, just give you a show of that. So Pinot Noir is really light, it's got a really thin skin. Generally, it's lots of red fruit flavors um, and quite tart flavors like cherry and berries and that kind of tangy tart flavor. As I say, really light bodied, so super silky, easy drinking and yeah, it's a lovely one. Little tip, in Aldi, when you see the exquisite collection, awesome, just head for it. These are such good value wines. Basically, they are from really recognized growers and producers who have possibly overproduced or something like that. But rather than putting more of their product on the market and lowering the value of their product, they will sell it in parcels to places like Aldi, which change the label. Um, and so basically you're getting an awesome wine from a top producer for a fraction of the price. Sometimes if you're lucky on the back, it kind of gives a nod as to who the producer is. So sometimes you can figure out which exact wine it is. We're gonna give this a taste. It was 6.99. Um, and let's see what we think. My mm. sister's doing the taste test Hello. with me as well today. Here's <laughs> Elsa. Okay, here we go. Classic, like, pale pinot, isn't it? Can you see yeah. me through there? Ready, <laughs> Can brownie. you see me, Elsa? <laughs> light. Yeah, super light. Mm. From the look, let's see if it smells. Mm. What would you normally expect to smell? Like, red fruit red crunchy fresh fruit mm. but then also lots of pepper you can get like a lot okay. of black pepper yeah now you say yeah. that i can smell I can that. smell it on here i don't think i'd have identified that myself yeah and, and um, i get the red fruit red, red fruit. currants yeah yeah definitely all those kinds okay. yeah yeah really mm. really good and i think that's like the most prominent thing when you smell this mm, isn't it true. cranberries and that kind of cheers, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the tasting like you. Really? <laughs> you can. <I'll> try. <laughs> so I might have mentioned before the why, the reason why you aerate. taste like that is to yeah aerate it in the mouth, make the most of the flavours. Mm -hmm. What do you mm -hmm. think? I like it, but I generally like Pinot Noir. Yeah. Um, it's quite acidic. Mhm. Mm um, so if you like fuller bodied, fruitier ones, I guess it's maybe not for you, mm. but it's light, lovely, fresh, crisp. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I'd say this is textbook New Zealand Pinot Noir. Really light body, a super silky mouthfeel. Um, and yeah, as Lauren said, definitely high acidity. That is one of the characteristics of Pinot. That's fine, it might not be your thing. I actually really love it, I love that tang. Mm. But if you're not a fan, have it with food. It's a perfect food wine. If a wine's got a lot of acidity, it'll cut through rich dishes, you know, mm. fatty, rich dishes, maybe like a charcuterie or cheese board or that kind of thing. Um, yeah, that would be great in the summer, wouldn't it? Yeah, just outside with the Pinot Noir. Yeah, I think it's textbook and beautiful. It's like really elegant, I mm. think. And yeah, just that's kind a of good description. The things mm. we smell on the nose, I'd say, are on the palate. Like, yeah, crunchy red fruit. Like, you made mm -hmm. made a good suggestion. Cranberry, um, red currants, those kind of tart fruits, but it's got mm. a bit of spice. Do yeah, you, definitely. Do you feel the black yeah. pepper a bit? Mm. But yeah, what do you think overall? I really like mm. it, yeah. And I really rate this label of an Aldi wines. They're such mm -hmm. good value. And if you don't know much about wine, you can always rely on them. Mm. Um, when I'm not sure what to get, I head straight for this brand in Aldi. Mm -hmm. And you can't go wrong. True. You can't go wrong? <laughs> can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. You can't, can't go, go wrong. wrong. <laughs> 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 when scunny birds drink wine. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's true. It's like a guarantee of quality in a way, isn't it? As yeah, you say, definitely. If you don't know what to buy, and you know you're going to get... I wouldn't have known that if it wasn't for you. Because mm. you know how like the wine producers work and yeah. what they do behind the scenes. So I'd never have known that this is the same as one of the high-end winemakers that you probably know. Mm -hmm. Mm. Exactly that. I'd definitely give it a huge thumbs up, like 8 or 9 out of 10. I think it's really nice yeah, and definitely, definitely really good for the mm -hmm. summer. Um, so yeah, eight or nine out of ten for taste, but ten out of ten for value. I think that's ace. Yeah. Maybe six ninety nine might be more than you normally spend, but for value for money for the wine you're getting for that price, 
it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs>